Assalamu alaikum guys. The barbaric act that happened in France not so long ago has been condemned by the Muslim world. It's a barbaric act and has absolutely no place in society. Full stop. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible and my two main themes that I want to discuss are this whole talk about freedom of speech and the freedom to insult people and this whole notion of beheading something that we are not used to seeing in the West and the fact that now it's been linked with Islam and now Islam is under fire let's deal with these two points because let's face it for the average individual these are the only two points that really matter so the first thing yeah the violence beheading even when I saw it I was like what the hell is going on here mate and the fact that it's linked to Islam naturally all the frustration is directed towards Islam Islam is becoming the scapegoat but hold on one minute it seems that only Islam has the monopoly and the copyright over barbaric violence but this is absolutely contrary from the truth yeah let me give you a few examples number one torture but we tortured some folks that's right and Obama and other US leaders are Christians the emails are part of how the president quietly practices his Christian faith but did we hear that Christians have been responsible for torture? No, no, no. Israel dropping white phosphorus on Palestinians, which literally melts their skin. This is what happens when white phosphorus meets human flesh. It completely burned the children from head to toe, she recalled. But do we hear Judaism being blamed? No, no, no. In India, there is mass raping and mob violence and killing just because certain people are eating beef. Do we hear Hinduism being blamed for this? No, no, no. In Myanmar, raping and burning alive of Muslims by Buddhists. But do we hear of Buddhism being blamed? No, no, no. Of course not. In none of these examples do we hear the religion or the adherents of the religion being blamed. Why? Because in all of these cases, they are state-backed which means backed by the government. But when Muslims are vocal about these, it falls on deaf ears because it's the Muslim masses against governments. And when you look at Muslim governments, we're too busy being controlled because of oil. You've got loads of quotes here, yeah? two main quotes is of Lord Crewe and the Foreign Office. And next we move on to freedom of speech. Yeah, This is something which is constantly being mentioned by Macron. Nous défendrons la liberté que vous enseignez si bien. Parce qu'il apprenait à des élèves, la liberté d'expression. If it was about freedom of speech, let's be real. You should be able to disrespect the French flag and the national anthem. Number two, isn't it freedom of speech when someone calls Macron Manu? Number three, why isn't it freedom of expression to wear the niqab, yeah, the face veil, or the hijab in schools? or the burkini in the beaches. Number four, in 2005, the courts ruled against an anti-Christian advert. That wasn't against freedom of speech, was it? Number five, Charlie Hebdo, the same magazine that's under fire for the cartoons they've made against the Prophet. But in 2008, they fired someone for an anti-Jewish cartoon. And of course, number six, the Turkish Prime Minister called Macron mentally unwell. Öncelikle he was exercising his freedom of speech and he was kind of stating the facts and Macron reacted by calling back their foreign diplomat. So it seems like France isn't exercising absolute freedom of speech and even academics. Yeah? You won't get a single credible academic saying there is absolute freedom of speech. And Hamza Sotz has made a very good point, freedom to insult. If I'm giving a speech about progress and I start with saying All right you mugs and nonces and douchebags, how are you guys doing? How on earth? It doesn't make any sense. It's clear that Macron is suffering, yeah? Even his dog has got a problem with him. <coughs> He 
he's seen as the president of the rich. Here he is telling somebody that's unemployed to cross the road and find a job. I mean, this guy is clearly out of touch. People are sick of him. And this is his last grabbing for power by exploiting the, the sensitive nature of people towards immigrants and migrants because people fear that which they do not understand, frankly. Be fair with the people. I mean, the interior minister, even he admitted that they're not being just with the clampdown on mosques and charities. Yeah, so go easy on your people and don't create more terrorists. Yeah! Until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.